If music is the key to one's soul, then our next story may grab more than just your attention. Sean McDonald caught up with a local instrument maker who's combined philosophy and craftsmanship into a perfect harmony. And we should warn you, you may never look at flutes the same way again. Here in the heart of Deerfield, New Hampshire, it may surprise you to know, music as we know it is being reinvented. With what some may consider a rather underrated instrument. The flute can be tremendously exciting. You can really do some, some tremendous sound effects with the flute. And when you can work those sound effects together with a, a musical concept, it becomes really exciting. Chris McKenna is a flutist, an inventor, a craftsman, and an open-minded pioneer. So it actually changes the length of it. I think uh, what I want to do with the flute is kind of take it back in time and forward in time. The self-described flute nut has what you might consider a sort of laboratory located in a classroom of an old school. I have an interest in music and uh, invention, experimentation, building things, repairing things, improving things, and all that came together um, in flute making. So I've been doing that for about 25 years now. Chris's mainstay is designing and building flutes. In fact, McKenna flutes are world-renowned. He often uses metals like gold and silver and literally puts in hundreds of man-hours for each piece. These instruments can run more than $10,000. This is going to be good. Most people want something special. The reason they go to a private maker is because they're looking for something particular. He actually only makes a handful of flutes a year. Most of Chris's work is creating flute mouthpieces for bigger companies. He handcrafts them from anything from gold to glass, even wood, and carefully whittles the shapes to give each instrument its own unique sound. There's kind of a beauty in the flute, and there's something also very ancient about it. It's probably our second instrument. You know, drum was probably the first. The idea to hit something with something else is probably more obvious than to blow across something. Building these wind wonders, you might consider that his day job. The schooled musician works just as hard at reinventing the flute. You see, Chris feels the development of the flute, unlike other instruments, has been left alone too long. With the flute, you still have essentially the same flute that we had in 1900. Which brings us to Chris's other handmade instruments. The concept here is it actually would turn your voice into like the sound of a tuba. And his quest to make sure the flute is passed over no more. This flute, which is much heavier, is actually made out of rhubarb, plays differently than this flute that's made out of the Japanese knotweed. Using different materials and shapes, he is taking what we know as the flute to new places. This is paper, this material, this phenolic paper. Many of the materials that he now creates music with can actually be found at a local construction site. This massive PVC tube is called a contrabass flute. These guitars and things are also things that I have made to experiment with the same idea. It's really how can you control pitch, how can you broaden the palette of sound, that sort of thing. So that's kind of what I want to do is, uh, is make something that's, that's modern and expands the technical capabilities of what the flute can do 
but at the same time go back to a simpler and a more open voice. You might call this the flagship of his Nouveau flute fleet. It's a standard flute with an electric pickup, guitar effects, and yes, a whammy bar. Chris foresees his flutes breaking more and more into rock, jazz, even hip-hop. Everything is, of course, still in the experimental phase, but the sky's the limit. I think flute playing is really just about to take off. So next time you see a seal proudly displaying the McKenna name, it may be on something that looks and sounds a little different than what you're used to. But remember, it's a flute just the same. It just passed through the mind of a free-thinking granite stater and landed in a new century, all in a little shop in the heart of Deerfield, New Hampshire. That is amazing. For more information on McKenna Flutes, log on to the WMURchannel.com and Chronicle, and we will whistle you, get you to whistle a happy tune. Coming up Monday night on Chronicle, the secret behind kettle corn. That's Monday night at 7.30. Still ahead on this Saturday morning, the Patriots are getting ready to face the Colts in the AFC game. Coming up in sports, we have a look at tomorrow afternoon's game.